Alright guys, now this is the finished product. Um, as you can see over here, I've got all of my t-shirts and uh, work shirts folded. I've got my ties in the center and uh, my pants, jeans, and sweater options over here on the side. If you lift up the ties, you can see that in the center I've got uh, my socks, my work socks, white socks. Um, it just makes a good use of space and I fold everything so that it uh, it works that way. Now here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six undershirt options. So that's a max of six days, unless I use uh, this black one here as an undershirt. And I've got three work shirts. Now if you look under the sweater, which is a pretty thick sweater too, I've got one pair of jeans. And this allows for easy access to everything that I've got in here without messing everything else up. Because I know a lot of other folding videos have um, <clears throat> things you know tucked under and then folded over the top and that just doesn't make a good use of space. Uh, some workout pants as if I ever work out and then here I've got my work pants uh, one pair and then um, just some swim trunks in case I'm on a you know Car a Caribbean layover or something. Underneath that I've got all my pairs of underwear which I put in the ribs of the um, bottom of the suitcase to make use of that void of space that it that the ribs leave under there. So that's that side. I've got two pairs of work pants. I've got another on the other side, which is why you don't see it. A pair of workout pants, two pairs of jeans, and a really nice thick sweater to go out in. So that's that side. Everything tucks in. And as you can see from the profile, does not exceed the top of the suitcase that much. Really hardly at all. On this side, again, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 shirts total. Now I'm going to demonstrate here in a minute exactly how I fold them and uh, what I do with the dirty ones. So the reason I pack it like this is so I can easily pick out a shirt without disturbing all the others. So let's say I want to wear this one on a layover. Just kind of gently work it out. Kind of like a file cabinet, see? Just pulls right out. This is how it comes out folded. When I fold my clothes at home, I do the same thing, except I do one less step. So instead of folding it over that way, that's how I stack all of my shirts at home. I also fold everything to be accommodating to the dimensions of my suitcase. So I could fold them all this way and stack them because you see it's the width of the suitcase. But that wouldn't, you know, this distance is not as great as this distance, which allows me to get more shirts in. So I'll show you that folding video in just a moment. And as soon as I'm done, well, I guess I can show you that in the folding video. But that is how I pack it. Now to get a shirt back in, I simply lift up here, put the shirt at the end, and then everything just fits right back in, and that way I know that it's dirty. Alright, the folding video will come up in just a minute. Alright guys, now here's the folding portion. First thing you do, and this is for a clean shirt, make sure that your shirt is face down, I mean face up, excuse me, with the, the collar facing you. What you're going to do, and if you Google or you YouTube um, two second fold, this is the two second fold. So just about an inch off the top of the collar, you grab your shirt all the way through to both sides just like that. Go about halfway down in a straight line. Now I've already folded the shirt so it's a little easier, but it should be just as easy for you. Grab this shirt about halfway down all the way through again. Now you take this part over here, fold it over all the way to the end of the shirt and grab all the way through. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to lift up the shirt just like this and you're just going to switch hands just like that. Now I knew that just blew a lot of your minds but after that you take it, lay it face down while you're still grabbing onto everything and fold it over equidistant so this is about an inch too it's, or about two finger length widths. Now again, as I mentioned earlier, at home, this is done for me. So now I'm done with my shirt and I just stack them. But in order to travel, what I do is I pinch in the center of this completed product on both ends all the way through, 
and then just lift up. Now that is a completely folded shirt for a, for a, a, a trip. What I do then at this point, <clears throat> to put it in my suitcase, I lift this all the way up, stick the shirt I want in on top, and then it just pushes right back down. Now let me show you what I do when I've used a shirt or it's done on a layover. I've taken the shirt out, I've worn it, and I now need to put it back in my suitcase. And I've found that laundry bags aren't very efficient or take up way too much space. So what I do is I fold it exactly the same way, except upside down. So now what you do is you lay it down, and it's exactly the same process, except I'll do a little faster this time. Pinch, pinch, and pinch, lay over, you lift up, switch hands, lay it down, and fold it over. So it's the same product, except you can see that the collar is no longer facing you. So you can tell, after that, when you get home from your trip, when you lift this up, that collar is facing you so you know it's clean. This collar is not so you know it's dirty. That is all there is to packing a suitcase. The most important thing for me is putting everything in the same place every time. My socks only take up about half of the center space, which leaves room for things I take on a layover, collect, um, anything like that. I collect the Starbucks mugs and that's a perfect place to fit them. Uh, my sandals go here every time and then my ties when I'm done packing, so I have all three with me, go right in the center like that. Now a lot of people don't use these straps or don't even know they're there. I find it great. It just holds everything in place. And as you can see, most people's bags are bulging. This bag does not bulge at all. And I had, what, 19 shirts in there? That's all there is to it. Now for this bag, I'll take it. Because you might be asking, well, where's your amenity kit? You know, where's all your toiletries? That's what I use the tote for. And changes of shoes. Now your work shoes, I have on, you know, I have on me. There's my toiletry kit. Deodorant, of course. I put all the things I need regularly in an easily accessible place and the things I need less regularly, like this. So here's a second amenity kit for those who need more than one. But here I have my workout shoes. So in the bottom I put the first, the first shoe face up. Cute shoes, I know, right? Second shoe face down so it fits like a puzzle. That goes on the side. Now again, the key is to put everything in the same place every time. You, not only will you know where it is, but you'll know you'll have a place for it. Packing becomes very easy for you that way. Now that's that. My toothbrushes, and in this pocket right here, I know the suitcase looks a little different than most of yours, but I do this with my other Travel Pro as well. In here I've got my ID at all times, my passport at all times, and my wallet at all times. I never change where I put them, so I always know where they are. In this pocket here, and both versions of the Travel Pro have it, this is a slightly older one, goes my laptop and charging cable every time. That's what this pocket's built for, it's got a perfectly slim profile, and it goes in the same place every time. And once I get to my layover, simply open this up, and there's everything I need, exactly how I left it. And let's say I want to wear this undershirt with my work shirt tomorrow. Again, you just simply pull it out like a file cabinet. Collar's facing me so I know it's clean. And then I'll just pull out, let's say I want to wear my epaulette shirt, long sleeve plain shirt, long sleeve uh, striped shirt. You know, I have my choice of those. And I also have another pair of work pants under this entire collection right here. Uh, just feel free to message me if you have any questions and I'll be glad to help you out. Hope you enjoyed it.